Welcome, Week Six Survivor League breakdown here. I'm Jason Gilbo at Fantasy Football Cafe. Uh, pretty crazy season so far. I mean, it's really moving along as well. You got Bengals undefeated. You got the Jets three and one coming off a bye. Um, you know, Cardinals looking very good. Uh, just a lot of surprising teams. You get the Lions 0-5 despite having a lot of talent on offense to which they just can't figure it out. Broncos, one of the undefeated teams. You got the Pats who are just mashing everyone that comes into town or, or wherever they go. Um, Panthers, surprising 4-0. Actually, not too surprising. They've played a lot of bad teams. Um, they head to Seattle this week, so probably going to be their first loss. But uh, taking a look at the week here, going game by game for your survivor pools. Giving you my thoughts on, on each game, looking at the Vegas line, stuff like that. Uh, Thursday night, you got Falcons visiting the Saints, and Atlanta favored by three and a half points. You got to like Atlanta, but uh, probably not the safest play here because you know what? Saints at home, uh, you, you got to like Breeze. Breeze is a nice, you know, nice home and away splits there. He's always done well in, in the dome. Um, Julio Jones is banged up, although Devonta Freeman seems to just be carrying the load right now. But, um, you know, Saints starting to figure it out a little bit on offense. They struggled a, a bit at Philly, but still put up a lot of passing yards, you know, the week before against Dallas. Um, Breeze looked pretty good despite not being 100%. Um, I think it's going to be a close game and something I don't really want a part of. Um, Sunday, moving on to Sunday, got, you know, the 1 o'clock games here. The Jets favored at home by 7 points against the Redskins. Um, I love this matchup for the Jets because you know what? They're going to run the ball with Chris Ivory. Um, they're just going to play defense and ground and, ground and pound game. Uh, you got to like the Jets here. Kirk Cousins shouldn't be able to do much on the road against that defense and secondary especially. Um, you know, Deshaun Jackson may or not be there. Um, Jordan Reed out. So Redskins, just not a lot on offense going on. I got to like the Jets in this one. They're one of my favorite picks for this week. Cardinals and Steelers. Cardinals on the road against the Steelers. Um, Talks of Big Ben being back, but it seems like a long shot. I doubt he comes back and plays. Should be Mike Vick again. Um, you got to like Arizona in this one. But on the road, it could be a tricky matchup. Um, we've seen them lay a dud against the Rams. But Steelers defense is just bad. The way the Cardinals offense is moving the ball right now, uh, I'll take the Cardinals easily on the road. Chiefs-Vikings. Tricky one here, I believe. Vikings at home. Favored by four points, uh, you know, decent, it looks good, no Jamal Charles, he had the, the bad ACL injury last last week, um, that's definitely a bummer, but, uh, I mean, Chiefs still have some weapons, they still have Kelsey, still have Macklin, maybe they throw the ball, air it out a little bit, although airing it out and Alex Smith did not usually go in the same sentence, but, um, you know, against this Vikings defense, who is, you know, average at best, um, decent secondary, but... I think this one's going to be closer than, than what many people think. Um, one I don't really want to, want a part of um, if I'm picking this week. Bengals and Bills, uh, kind of the same thing. It's in Buffalo. Andy Dalton's just been unbelievable so far. He looks like a completely different player. Bengals defense looks good. The Bills are extremely banged up, um, whether it's going to be Tyrod Taylor under center or EJ Manuel. Um, still another 100% sure who it is. Um, Sammy Watkins could be back. LaShawn McCoy could be back. So you could get, you know, the names back, but depending on how healthy they are, how good is this Bills offense going to be against a pretty good Bengals defense? Um, you know, the only advantage here is bad weather prediction up in Buffalo. It could be rainy. It's in Buffalo. That's the only advantage I really see for the Bills here. Uh, I think it's going to could be an ugly game, but I, I got to still see Cincinnati pulling this one out. Bears and Lions. Um, God, truly two awful teams in the NFC North. Um you know, Detroit's favored by three game or three points here. Um, could they get their first win? Uh, yeah, I'm banking on them to go get their first one, first win here, and go one in five uh, through six weeks. Bears, um, you know, a lot depending on this is is Alshon Jeffrey, uh, Eddie Royal. Will they be back or not? Um, you know, they practiced today, but it was still limited, so we're not going to be sure until later in the week. Um, if they are, it's probably going to back off this one. But if they don't play, I am going to take the Lions because the Bear de Bears defense is bad. Um, I'm going to take a, a pretty good look at, you know, the Lions playmakers finally showing up for the first time this season. So give me the Lions in that one. Broncos and Browns. Um, Broncos offense has not been good, but the defense keeps winning games, um, really bailing them out, especially 
I think three times this season you could easily say the Broncos could have been handed a loss um, if it wasn't for their defense. So um, I think it's going to be a story again because you know what? Browns at home, Peyton Manning on the road. Um, hasn't looked great, and I'm not confident in that offense. to put up a ton of points, but their defense is what gives me confidence and then for the easy W this week. Texans and Jaguars, pretty even game here. Um, it's in Jacksonville. I'm not going to touch it because I actually have no clue which team it's going to pull out on top. I think it's going to be actually a high-scoring shootout despite the 43.5 point total, um, one I don't want a part of. And same goes with this next game, uh, Dolphins and Titans. Dolphins under new leadership. I do like them to bounce back and get a W this week. Surely wasn't happening under Philbin there. Um, look for Tannehill to to air it out. Um, you know, Tennessee's ranked third in, in pass defense, but 28th in rush defense. Could this be the week Lamar Miller uh, gets it together and, and they hand him the ball? I don't know. Um, it's just going to be a, a difficult one to read because of the coaching game plan and, and the schemes going forward. But, um... I do like the Dolphins to pull out the victory this week. Panthers and Seahawks. Got to give me the Seahawks at home. Um, you know, they're favored by a touchdown. The Panthers' offense has not been great. Um, they really have Olsen and maybe Tegan Jr., if you want to consider him a weapon. Um, decent, but, you know, it's still nothing great. Going into Seattle, you don't like that that matchup there against the defense when they're playing at home. Um, Seattle should, you know, they haven't looked good, that's for sure, but uh, at home, you got to give Seattle the, the advantage there. Chargers and Packers in Lambeau. Anytime Aaron Rodgers and company's in Lambeau, they, it is an easy W. Um, let's just move on from that one. Ravens and Niners toss up with two bad defenses who, you know, met, met in the, the Super Bowl um, just a few years ago. I mean, this is you know, a game that, that's probably going to be pretty ugly. Um, you know, I can't give lean one way or the other here, but um, I got to take the Niners at home um, just with the injuries to Baltimore that could possibly occur um, later in the week, but uh, that's one to keep an eye on. Pats and Colts, probably the game of the week. Um, New England fire, favored by just eight points, although it could be 80. Um, yeah, they're on the road, but they've also got the whole deflate gate narrative going on. Uh, the Pats are just going to come in and, and go to town on Indianapolis. I mean, there's no any other way to put it. Um, it's going to be a bad, bad experience for the Colts. I'm sorry. Um, and I'm a Colts fan, so, you know, it. it's going to be brutal. It's going to be a bloodbath. I don't even want, know if I want to watch this game or not. But uh, easily go with the Pats. Um, it's the safest play of the week. Giants-Eagles, um, you know, Eagles at home, going to be a high-scoring affair. I can't see see this game leaning one way or the other. I think it's going to be pretty tight until the end. Um, I don't see the defense is doing a great job of stopping each other's quarterback and passing attack. Um, it's going to be a tough one to match up. So uh, a lot of tough weeks here, or a lot of tough games here to, to really predict. Um, but, you know, the, the chalk plays are Seahawks, Packers, Pats. Um, I think the riskier plays are the Dolphins. you got to like them, the Lions as well. Um, and the Jets. I think the Jets are probably your best bet going forward this week. Um, so good luck in all your survivor pools.